Alright, we finally are getting to the good stuff in this video. This video is going to be all about creating the command and finalizing this project up. Guys, this project is going to be really, really basic. It just, I just want to just start you guys out on something super basic and just try and uh, show you guys what it's all about. And hopefully you guys can start trying to do this on your own. Um, but we will make this more complicated, of course. So, let's go ahead and dive right on into this. First, we're going to create the onCommand method and I'll show you the syntax for that. Uh, hopefully, I'll type it all out and then I'll explain what everything means. Public boolean, it takes parameters, but we also want to declare the method first. There we go. Alright, so first thing you guys want to notice is we have red lines. Red lines are never good when you're coding. But you guys may have guessed it, they're red lined because they're not imported. So, to import them, you scroll your mouse over it and you're gonna go ahead and hit import on both of them and the whole method should turn red, just like that. That is completely fine, guys. We'll fix that in a second. So, this is the method we're declaring here and com these are all parameters of the method these you must put in there it doesn't matter what you declare them as like sender command label args whatever you want command sender is the sender of the command so if you were to type slash hello the person that did that command is the sender command cmd is the command they typed but string and i called it lbl string label is the command but in a string form now, string with these two brackets there is an array of arguments, and we'll get into that a little bit later, but for now, um, that's about it for there. And it is red because we're declaring this method as a Boolean. A Boolean can, has to either, it has to return some sort of value, and as you can see, there's nothing in the method right now, and it's definitely, clearly not returning anything. So let's go ahead and put in return false. And that should go away. Yep. So the first thing a lot of people like to do, and my myself or myself included, is change the sender into a player variable because a player variable has a lot more uh, options. So in order to do that, we use the syntax in Java called casting. Now, if you've watched about since tutorials, you should know about this, but I'll go ahead and show you uh, what it is, anyways. So you're probably like, what the heck does this mean if you haven't watched uh, some other tutorials on it? Uh, it's called casting, as I, probably, as I already said in a little bit before. Um, so we're basically declaring a player variable. You can think of it as a player variable. Um, and we're saying, okay, what's player equal to? Well, it's going to be equal to sender. But if we were to not put this in parentheses there, it'd be like, hey, it can't. they're not, they're not the same. It, it won't work because they're not the same variable so then it's like okay we have to add we have to cast it we have to make it be we have to transform sender to be a player if that makes sense hopefully that made sense um so now that we're done with that we're gonna get the command that they're sending so if label equals ignore case hello we're going to send the player a message so hello dude so basically this is really simple if the um, if the label if the command they're sending equals ignoring the case hello so if they type slash hello in any case it's going to send them a message. Now we also have to return true. Just like that. And that will end this whole method. Now because we are using this on command method, we do have to register the command with bucket. So you might be asking, how do we do that? Well, it's really simple. Uh, remember that plugin YML we created? Well, let's go ahead and open it up by double clicking on it. And it'll open in your preferred text editor. Um, next, we're going to go ahead and hit enter twice just to space it out nicely and you have to type in commands just like that 
uh, space over twice and then we're gonna put in the command that we are registering so hello and there's a few other things you can add in here I'm just gonna go ahead and add in a description and the main reason I would do this is so that um, in a help menu, it'll take the description that you set here and use it in some sort of help menu for from another plugin or something like along those lines. So we're going to go ahead and hit or type in send the player a message. And then we're going to save it and go back over here. And this is a really important step, guys. You got to make sure you go ahead and hit refresh and make sure your project's saved. And we are ready for export. Whoa, guys, I almost completely forgot about this uh, this new tool I'm I'm releasing for you guys. Um, it's this forums place. It's it's completely new. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping you guys will use it. It's a really great place. I'm hoping you guys will be able to communicate and I'll be able to help you guys really simply. It's this form. You guys can ask all the questions, all of the source files for all of the videos that I'm making will all be on this form place. The link is in the description. You guys can register. You guys just can keep on using this, guys. This is a work in progress, so I hope it'll grow and just grow to this really big community, guys. That's it. Back, back to whatever I was doing before.